Astronomers have long assumed they'd have to look far and wide and deep into our galaxy before they found a single Earth-like planet. But now, it looks like there may be many, quite nearby, perhaps as close as 13 light years, virtually in our own cosmic backyard. Working with data from NASA's Kepler mission, scientists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have calculated that six in every 100 red dwarf stars should have at least one Earth-sized world orbiting in the so-called habitable zone, where liquid water can exist. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star. They are much cooler, a thousand times dimmer, and generally only about one-third the size of our sun. So, if you look up at night, your unaided eye won't see a single one. For every star you can see, there are at least three red dwarfs which you can't. But the Kepler telescope and other research instruments easily can. It's almost as if the universe wants us to discover these worlds. Earth-sized planets are much larger, relative to the dwarfs they orbit, than they would be to sun-like stars. So they produce a much stronger light curve, in other words, a dip in brightness, for Kepler to more easily notice. And even better, because red dwarfs are cooler than our sun, the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are just right for life, is much closer in to these stars. Which means one year on these speculative planets is much shorter than our year, which means it takes Kepler much less time to see multiple passes of these planets and thus confirm their existence. But perhaps most intriguing, red dwarfs have lifespans much longer than our sun. So scientists speculate that we might come across life on such planets around red dwarfs that is much older than life as we know it on Earth. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.